Hey, it's Often Student here, and today I'm going to showcase all the game I created based on my last few videos. So, first, I made a video about moving a rectangle in all four directions using two inputs. So, we can move diagonal. Then, I had a video about collision, and these two aspects inspired me to create this game, I guess, where we move our square, and we have these red squares spawning and we need to dodge them. And in my case, just very simply, if I hit a square, I'll just print in the console, game over. And the rectangle will stop spawning. So we'll then start again. Like that, and then keep playing. But just a very simple setup, just to demonstrate that it works. So I'll just call it a prototype. If I wanted to make this a full game, I would probably add some kind of Set of text. Again, I died. Maybe add a timer counting how long you played the game. And also, one major problem with this setup is that the rectangle spawn randomly and random size. So, technically, you could probably get trapped at some point. But that is my inspiration based on my last few videos, which would be linked in the description. So, let's have a look at how it actually works. So, as mentioned in another video, I already talked about the movement, so I'm not going to repeat that. And the collision is actually very simple. We just check if the border of one rectangle is inside the border of another rectangle. It's just basic this method. If this shape, the bounds of the shape, intercepts with another shape. In this case, stop the timeline, which is the game, and print game over. Pretty simple. But otherwise, the interesting part of this is inside Scene Builder, we just have two very simple components, my square are moving, and the restart button. All my danger shapes, all my obstacles, I will be spawning inside the JavaFX components, and I'm creating them outside the screen, moving them to the other side of the screen, and then removing them. And I have my, my shape, I have my scene, I have a random object which allows me to do random sizes and positions. And have some uh, transition which is moving the rectangles, the red rectangles from the right to the left. I then have an array list called dangerous rectangles where how I do it is every frame I check if my player square is intercepting with any of the rectangles inside my rectangle, dangerous rectangles array. And then, whenever I create a new rectangle, I would first get a random height, a random position on the x-axis, a random size, create the rectangle, set the color to red, I give it a transition, or can create a transition and connect this transition to my newly created rectangle, which means moving it. I set some boundaries for my transition that it contains my rectangle, going to take 5 seconds, so how fast is it going to be moving and where it's going to be moving to. So in this case, just minus 900 on the x-axis, so to the left. And then whenever it's finished moving, I would remove my rectangle from the scene and remove it from my dangerous rectangles array. And then I mainly add them. And then I return, so this method returns the rectangle it created. And then, as you can see, I would remove them from these areas. When they are done, I firstly add them here whenever they have been created. So add them to the scene and add them to my dangerous rectangles array. And then I start the movement. And this timeline is set to play whenever I click my start button. So this timeline runs every one second. And inside initialize, it is set to run indefinite. So every one second, create a new rectangle, return this rectangle information, set it to the scene, set it to dangerous rectangles array list, which means it will be checked for collision, and then start movement of my rectangle. As mentioned that inside initialize, we also start my movement controller set the cycle count of our timeline, our rectangle spawning, and we start our collision checker. 
to mention, the start button just starts and stops the timeline, more or less. If it's already running, stop it. If it's not already running, start it. Collision timer, just inside animation timer, which is a timer that checks every frame. So every frame I would just simply check. For each rectangle in my rectangle, dangerous rectangles array list, check if this specific rectangle, not null, first of all, so if it exists. We would just check if it's colliding with our shape. So that's pretty much the setup. Have some movement, have some collision check, spawn a lot of rectangles every second, have them added to an array list which is checked for collision, and move them. And all this together creates this pretty simple game. Which I just thought was kinda interesting and fun that I this quickly, with just very simple components, can create something kinda like a normal game. And again, I already lost, but if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.